Hey, hey guys, what is up? It is your pal, your buddy, your amigo, Keith, here again live in the control room at Essex Recording Studios, just outside London in England. And today we've got uh, one of my favorite guitars to share with you guys on the channel. This is a Lawsuit Jackson Headstock ESP uh, early from the Custom Shop Horizon, guys. Really cool. If you're new to the channel, click like, click subscribe, you're going to get to see really rare, really cool guitars, just like this, up close and in person, as if you were holding them in your very own hands, uh, each and every day, presented to you by me, Keith, uh, for totally free, costs you nothing, so click subscribe and click like, so let's chat about this one, this is a midnight blue metallic, I don't know if that's the official color, it's what I'm going to call it, it's really dark blue, very deep metallic, First gen Horizon with the Jackson style, we call it pre lawsuit era headstock. A lot of cool features about this, uh, aside from the shape and the color, which I love. It's got the slanted single coil in the neck, which for me visually, I just always liked that. I always thought it looked awesome. Modern Seymour Duncan uh, blackouts, those are. Very powerful pickups. We AB'd them over the weekend with some EMGs, and these are higher output. Um, they've got more balls, guys. They totally do. Original Sinclair Floyd Rose. These things are really cool. They've got the pop-in tremolo arm, and uh, are just very well known. Very rare tremolos. You can actually sell those for a lot of money. And of course, you've got the ESP at the twelfth fret. A dark, very dark rosewood fretboard, unbound, which is interesting because you've got binding on the headstock, not on the body, not on the neck, which kind of leaves it with a very sleek look. It's got what I refer to as the short throw shifter toggle switch, which reminds me of, have you ever driven like a, a Mazda MX-6? That's like the, the shifter in one of those. All right, what else can we say before we take this out of the case? I'll take this out. Comes with a new fancy schmancy tweed case. It's always nice. Now I'm going to show you the back of this thing. So, you've got an interesting bolt pattern on the back here with it uh, kind of tapered off at the edge, which was very much ahead of its time, not something you really saw back when this was made. Has the, what I call the coffin style control cover. Not quite what they look like these days, but again, um, a sign of things to come. The back is very clean, guys. There's not much to speak of in terms of marks. This thing is in exceptional condition, given its age. And then we've got this maple neck that is gorgeous. You can see lots of like kind of flaming. It's kind of got that 3D effect that changes as you move the camera. You see that? And it kind of goes away. And then it kind of comes. There we go. Then all the way down to the headstock here. We've got that old school ESP custom shop serial number. ESP branded tuners and check out the tip of that headstock guys. It's all there Beautiful Just run down this neck on this side and the neck feels amazing You uh, will struggle to get one like this these days Hopefully in the video, the uh, color really pops out and you can see that kind of deep blue metallic. Then let's check the neck pockets. It's hard to do this all one-handed. I'm just going to tap the phone with my nose to focus. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha! Great success! Alright, so on this side... 
not really anything on this side the tiniest little hairline which is to be expected again on any really any neck uh bolt-on guitar that's more than 10 years old expect to see some little lacquer cracks that's it guys that's that early first gen horizon pointy pre-lawsuit jackson headstock guitar they're very very rare i think i've had this might be my third one ever you know how many esps i i get if you uh have been following the channel for a while so the fact that this is only the third one should tell you how rare they are in this condition good luck finding one this clean you can have a look on the channel we had one in a purple metallic and i think another one in red those were neck throughs this is the only bolt-on one I've been able to find. It's very cool. All right, guys, I got to get out of here. I got a lot of videos to do for you all, and I don't have a lot of time. So stick around, and we will be seeing you very soon with more guitars. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter if you have the time. It's at Essex Recording Studios. And if you want to buy this guitar, www.essexrecordingstudios.com or go on to Reverb.com. It will be on there. They're our good friends. They host our website, too. How nice is that? Cool, guys. I'm out of here. See you in the next video coming up right after this.